right. Hello everyone and happy Yoga Thursday. So today I am going to show you nine different poses to help with posture. So a lot of times people come in, we take your posture pictures and or even anytime anybody mentions the word posture, everybody always sits up real tall, gets a little bit self-conscious about if they're hunching over all the time, or they just automatically say, I have terrible posture. Well, now with a lot of us working from home or children that are having makeshift desks at home since we're not able to be at school right now with everything that's going on, I want to give you some different techniques and tools to be able to utilize and counterbalance having all of this hunched over text neck type of posture and really elongate your spine and allow yourself to be sitting up nice and tall. So we are going to start standing up and so I want you to find a nice relaxed position. The first pose I'm going to stand to the side so you can see is half lifts. So essentially you want to touch your toes or as close to as possible and what you want to do is either bring your hands to your shins or if you can touch the ground then that's great but you're going to inhale and you're going to halfway lift just like this and you want to have a nice flat back so doing this in front of a mirror might be helpful or having somebody tell you if you have a flat back would be great as well and then you're going to exhale and fold back down Taking this a couple different times, you want to inhale, flat back up, and down. I would do this for about five, just to really emphasize those muscles, holding it in this halfway lift, and then fold back down, two more just like that, halfway lift. Hold one more time, inhale, and exhale. Great. So next I want you to come down onto your mat. From here, I want you to just clasp your hands behind you. You're going to press your shoulder blades down and back so that your chest pops out just a little bit and you're gonna lift your chin slightly elevated above horizon, but also still feeling like everything is pulling nice and centered all the way up to the ceiling as well. Good, holding here for several breaths. releasing. From here, we're going to bring our feet up in front of us and our arms are going to come to the side. We're going to slowly raise our feet up, either stopping here if you would like, or you can extend them all the way into a V position. Whatever is easiest for you, we're going to bring our arms up as well. From here, we want to make sure that we still have that nice long spine, that we're not punching down into it or over exaggerating. Nice neutral spine. Good. And relax. Hugging your knees in towards your chest. We're gonna do that two more times. So, bringing those legs back up, arms out to the side, not touching, but to the sides. So this is also a good balancing and core exercise as well. Core is a huge part in your posture, not just your stomach core, but the core that's around your back as well. So this is a really great pose for that. Good, keep breathing. And hugging your knees into your chest. We're gonna do that one more time. Good, coming up extending those arms maybe challenging yourself extending those legs up for the last couple of breaths here good and coming back together 
our right, coming back into our all four position, taking those cat cows. This is another really great one, really accentuating the movement of every vertebra in your spine. Inhale, you're gonna come all the way up. And exhale, you're gonna round everything down. Really make sure you tuck that tailbone. And inhale all the way up. Exhale, rounding out those shoulders. Moving with your breath. You come down onto your stomachs next. The first one here we're gonna do is sphinx pose. Flat forearms down on the mat, fingertips spread out wide, also feeling them grounding down in towards the mat. You want your toes to be pointed, the tops of the feet flat on the mat as well, and you want your gaze to be forward. You'll feel this in your low back, as your muscles begin to activate. You wanna make sure that you're pressing your quads into the mat as well. And you want your shoulders to be down and back, pushed away from your ears. Holding here and breathing. slowly come down all the way onto the mat so we're gonna bring our arms out to the side here palms facing up and on an inhale we're gonna lift everything up off the ground except for our torso so inhale come into what's known as locust pose keeping the gaze down onto the mat and exhale release the left cheek down to the mat Everything comes to the floor. Inhale, come back up. Gaze goes neutral. So your feet should be slightly lifted, your arms up off the ground. And exhale, right cheek to the mat. Good, this time what I want you to do is aim to grab your ankles. If this is enough for you, holding here is gonna be good. If you'd like to inhale and take it up even further, coming into bow pose, then that works good as well. As you breathe, you might feel yourself rock a little bit back and forth, that's okay. Feeling the rise and fall of that diaphragm. Really make sure that your shoulders are pulled back that you're not hunching over like this. Good, and slowly lower down, releasing your feet. Great. We're gonna do two more. They're gonna require you to be on your back. The first one we're going to do is bridge pose. So you're gonna be down on your back. Arms are gonna be flat down palms to the mat, and what you're going to do is lift your hips up towards the ceiling. I want you to keep your neck neutral so that your gaze goes up towards the ceiling. Don't rotate your neck from side to side. That could cause tension and some strain in your muscles as well. If you have a yoga block or some books, you could also do what's known as supported bridge pose. So basically you're going to aim to put your sacrum or that bottom triangular bone in your spine right onto this area right here. So you're gonna slide it under and be able to rest on that, really making sure that you're pressing your feet and your shoulder blades and palms into the mat. Also taking note that there's several different heights to a yoga block or even a book that you might have so if you need a little bit lower, or maybe even a little bit higher, you could come on to the highest setting as well. 
but a yoga block isn't necessary to do this. You can also just do it regularly, lifting those hips, tucking your tailbone under, and activating your core. Good, slowly releasing down. I want you to do that two more times. Inhale, coming all the way up. And exhale down. One more time. Inhale, coming back up. And exhale down. Good. Now for this next one, you will need some sort of prop. So whether you have a yoga block or even just a rolled up blanket or something that can elevate your shoulders slightly higher than your head, you can use baby wipes, um, anything that you have lying around. And what you're going to aim to do is place it right between your shoulder blades, just like this. The goal is to have your chest higher up than your head. Arms are gonna come out to the side, draping down, palms facing up. Relaxing your head back. Ultimately aiming to open up your chest. Great, and that is called supported fish pose. So those are some different techniques that you can utilize to start to have better posture, feel more confident and more upright and lengthen your spine so that you even feel taller as well. So utilize these, especially if you're going to be spending a lot of time at a desk or if you text a lot, um, anything that's forward carrying, really make sure that we're opening everything up and focusing on our posture because our spinal health is what's going to make us healthy. All right, so until next time, thanks for watching.